Ever since I was a little kid, I have been mad on motorcycles and looking for adventure. I think it flows in my blood. I've ridden my motorcycle across the world and journeyed to many different countries. I've been inspired by the different cultures and landscapes, but particularly by the adventures that I've had on my travels. Wow! In this series, I'm returning to a country that I've visited many times. But this time, I'm going to take a really different perspective. I'll be exploring its wilderness. Yes, so beautiful. Traveling to some of the most remote areas and challenging myself against nature is quite sort of biblical. The terrain. I'm gonna sleep like this? Are you kidding? <laughs> and the elements. It's been raining all night long. It's the United States of America. I'll be starting my journey in the lava fields of Hawaii before I take on the glaciers of Alaska. Then I'll be heading over to the East Coast where I'll be traveling south before crossing inland to the southern states and the Gulf of Mexico. Then I'll be heading up to the Rockies and wriggling my way through to the Pacific Coast and our final destination, Los Angeles. I'll be traveling with my good friend and director, Russ Melk, as well as the rest of the crew who will be part of this great adventure. I want to get out of here. It's too hot. Come on, guys. Hey. And it's called Charlie Borman's USA Adventure. I want to get out of here. It's too hot. Wow. That's Woo! incredible. Oh my god! I'll be starting in the most southern point of the USA, Big Island, Hawaii, where I'll be checking out the lava fields in the spectacular island of Hawaii before heading up to the glaciers of Alaska. That is the new with view, isn't it? And then over to Martha's Vineyard on the East Coast. That is some serious rain. First, we're off to Hawaii. So we've decided to start here in Hawaii, and it's the most southerly and most westerly point of the United States of America. The Hawaiian Islands are about 2,500 miles off the west coast of mainland USA. They're formed of eight large islands and there are 137 islands in all. The landscape is absolutely stunning and it's one of the most volcanic areas on the planet. We are heading to one of the larger islands called Big Island or Hawaii, where we are told we would see real lava. So, we're on this incredible lava flow here, and we're going to go down to where the lava, the active volcanic molten lava, meets the sea. And apparently, it's an incredible thing to see, especially in the evening. So, it's around sort of 3 30 now, and we're going to head over there. But we've got Jerry over here who's going to show us where to, what to do and how to get there. Jerry. <laughs> 